Since 2002, Kellogg Leadership for Community Change, also known as KLCC, has helped communities across the country build the local capacity for collective leadership in order to create the change they want to see in their communities. One of the key components of this program is creating a national learning environment, a place where communities come to share their work and learn from each other. The following video was created during the 2007 KLCC National Gathering in Stone Mountain, Georgia. Representatives were present from all 11 communities that have been a part of the KLCC initiative. The theme of this gathering was building a just community, sharing wisdom in the KLCC Village Square. And it's called collective leadership, it's called community leadership, and it's about how individual leaders like yourselves think differently about their leadership role. And it's not about the benefit to you. It's about you being an individual leader for the benefit of your community. Just community is more than rights. It is where everyone can dream big but start small. Acknowledging that we grow within ourselves by connecting with others. Where strength and weakness is recognized and valued. And working together through a process towards a living community. We just educate them and we also became a resource center for like if somebody gets detained like that family member can call like my brother-in-law got detained by ICE yeah. and I like I, I was just starting. One of the things that we talk about a lot is when injustice happens, no matter who it's happening to, we need to sort of name it. Because if we leave it quiet, if we don't name it, then people are not going to know that. When you get your, your, your cultural feelings hurt, when injustice happens, you got to call it out. You got to make sure that people really know that that injustice is happening. Wow, Buffalo people. My name is Shakti Hayes. And my family lives the Aboriginal ways. The sweat lodge, pipe, sacred ceremonies, the Great Plains is my territory. But hold up, let's rewind it for a second. One, two, three, four, five, on my great grandmother's side, my native culture almost died. The people stripped of their pride, tongue of their language denied, no longer free to roam where the buffaloes called home reservations, where young children was taken, given another kind of education, frustrations, lost was the hope of the Cree and all First Nations. But that was then, and this is now, and how the times have changed. The chiefs and the looters got together and arranged the treaties that today remain the same. Now you know that tradition at last, the songs and the dances that were done in the past, and I am grateful to let go and forgive all things hateful. And in time, we will heal as a people. Because in Gitchy Manitou's eyes, we were all created equal. She suffered a real large injustice. <laughs> And that's what I heard here. I believe, I believe since the KLCCP I've been a part of in Harbor. I believe I have seen tremendous growth within the community itself. And because of this youth and adult partnerships, our enrollment just tripled, it tripled overnight basically because they realized that their voice it leads to their choice and they're able to do what they like to do. I just really want to recognize uh, all of you, especially the, the, the young ones that come with. You know, you guys make me proud to be a part of the same tribe as you and, and uh, honor to uh, see the work that we've done already. And so to have an elder and have a teenager or somebody who's younger than that all in the same space with somebody like me, it just makes everything so much richer and it feels more like real life should be. 
um, looking like a few years before the program came to Ben Harbor, I would have never thought that youth would be treated as equals in a program such as this. And when I look at that, it's, it's something real powerful. Well, I see the youth teaching us so much. And but I also see the adults sharing and teaching the youth. So it is, if I really see it as a true partnership. I'm seeing is is young people and adults are working together to build relationships on a, on a very grassroots level so mm -hmm. that indeed the as you said the public the whole issue of bringing a community together to create change is critical but it takes a lot of time it takes some patience and it takes some time mm -hmm. a circle. the nation's hoop a nest of many nests where the great spirit meant for us to hatch our children and grow them in a good way I had two youth in Birchwood that did community organizing for me on the CMCA project, which is a youth access to alcohol project. And they scheduled meetings with other youth in their school, with business people, with parents, with all the different sectors in the community to talk about the issue of youth access to alcohol. And it was And you know, I it think it, it sets an example not only of success, but an example to stay that it's okay to stay and that people can be happy while they stay and that staying actually makes things better. So like if I I just plan to stay there no matter what I do, if I start a business or whatever, I plan to keep it all in the community. For one leadership challenge of this 21st century is how do we not only work across but capitalize on the wonderful diversity of leadership in our communities. It becomes very important that you find a way to slide KLCC into who you are when you go out as your organization. Kinds of tools and approaches that it uses because we think that this piece about empowering people who are directly affected and really challenging how decisions get made and those relations of power about how decisions get made is what's going to long-term change our communities and have the people who are part of our organizations have more ability to make change and have more ability to have a voice. The, one of the overriding themes is that, is that change is happening very quickly and, and it happens often unpredictably. But also what I've heard in the face of that change is this steady commitment um, of we're keeping going and we're going to figure out what to do next with what's changed in our community. And there's this sense of uh, not giving up. And so what I would love to see, what I'm going to see, is the parking lot and the playgrounds at our community center full again. I mean, just absolutely crowded with with young, you know, high school kids, junior high kids, and kids my age. Y'all don't look at me crazy, but I finally caught a hold of the vision um, over this past year. Um, at first, I was like, what are we getting ourselves into? What, I'm, what am I getting myself into? But now I have got a hold of a Kellogg vision, and I am ready to run with the Kellogg scissors. <laughs> <And, laughs> 